Hey, okay, today what we have here is a late 70s Northern Ricky copy. Now normally this would have been white to match this and would have said Northern there. That's been switched out as many of the young kids would to make it look more like a Ricky. Also this has shaler tuners on it here. This you can see this is a result of a, a younger person who's going to play it really aggressively and popping it right out of the nut. So that was a common one on these. Uh, I grew up in Ontario. Northern was the company that distributed these. These are Japanese. I remember my friend Brian had a Les Paul in this exact style right down to the maple neck with a black top. Maple neck was not common on the Pauls. I I'm not sure what it was on Rick's, but this one has been changed as is also quite common. It looks to be some kind of a variation of a jazz in here, so it's hotter than usual. This is the regular pickup for some reason, screwed down a little lower. Uh, the foam mute has been ripped off, but the, the mechanism is still there for it. The foam mute kind of a, like this, a vestigial tail from string bass players changing over to electric. That's pretty much gone now. And as much as there's been some customization here done, but you can see stock, it did have stereo or mono outs. Uh, great, great, you know, quality wood there, uh, nameless plate there. And we have the gorgeous checkered binding. So Getty Lee from Rush being a big Rick guy, playing a Northern at that time, nothing more Canadian. So this is not typically what they sound like. That's the hot jazz two together, bridge, sorry neck, Great guitars, great, great guitars, a real slice of the 70s there for uh, funky old guitars, man.